There's nothing normal about what's happening behind the walls of many schools, including Edgewood Elementary in Muskegon Heights. Teachers alone in classrooms, okay. students far away. I want you to draw a number bond. It certainly has its moments. You're supposed to be in the center of your camera. But odd as it may be, the distance to digital learning seems to have brought the student-teacher-parent relationships here even closer together. We are forced to interact with our, our families. We all are growing with this process because it's new to everyone. It's those circumstances that made this story one that ends well. On a late September school day, another of many malfunctions with the equipment students are using to connect with their teachers. Her student's device was not charging. The problem brought Ms. Cook to call the grandmother of one of her students on the phone, an act that would reveal a medical emergency and set the effort to save her life in motion. But when she started speaking, I could tell that there was something wrong. I wasn't sure what was wrong, but there was something wrong. The grandmother, Cynthia Phillips, was having a stroke. This 911 call from school staff got emergency responders on the way to her home. And the grandmother is having a heart attack, and the student didn't know what to do. So I need someone at that residence ASAP, please. She was rushed away for emergency care, and she remains hospitalized now. But she's expected to pull through, and with the help of her neighbor, we were able to speak with her on the phone today. Thank you for saving my life, because it wasn't for them. Them getting the help I needed, I would have just not been here. I think that this teacher's action very well could have saved the woman's life, but at the least improved the quality of the rest of her life. There is no doubt that things are different here in Muskegon Heights and beyond. But distance, at least here, not even close. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Leon Hendricks, News Nation.